Hello, welcome back to Neocab. And now we're left with five potential fares or a trip to the Stans machine. Logic might dictate going to the Stans machine first because it's on the way back, unless I pick this dude up. I don't know why this is popping up or what we have to do there because if we look at our journal, we know Savvy's a double agent, but we haven't had any you know, ability to find out about Jace or the DJ. Last time we went to the club, they wouldn't let us in. I think we would probably need to get an invite. And Charlie here has lost his Neo Cab Prime status. I don't know if we wanna try and... Why is he still five stars? If he rated me one star, I should rate him one star back, shouldn't I? Anyway, look, I think we can pick up this Anarchy guy because uh, Aganon had a weird profile pick but turned out to be great so maybe this guy will be great and then that brings us to the vicinity of the other three fairs and we can choose one of them Gideon DeKalb where it has an anarchy profile and they're at a at an exclusive location okay I don't really care either way. Gideon? They put the LOPD sticker on my car? I said not to. They didn't really give me a choice. I don't know. I said I didn't want it. React Shake. Very interesting. Thirteen year old. Hmm. Good for you. Same. <laughs> so they did put the sticker on my car. Oh well, I think that might help with future LOPD people. And people like Gideon who complain about it, I can just say, yeah, they forced it on me. I said no, so. I, I definitely wasn't. I don't know. Why do we have to add that? We can just say rough night question mark. Ooh, someone's in a mood, huh? Your mom is the one who started the Sophie's Law legislation, right? Is that what's happening? Go on. <laughs> Your fascist mother, all right. Thank you for spilling the beans to me. This will come in handy, won't it? Let's go, Gideon DeKalb! Yes, good for you. Let's not be uh, snarky. <laughs> ah, we've turned uh, salmon colored. This girl is probably on our side, so no need to piss her off.
I don't need to have heard of it. Is it dangerous? You? Is this thing recording me? I don't know. I've never, I guess. Ah, oh, we've turned purple. We're letting this young child make us feel bad. <laughs> Why do you cut off? Are we gonna get into a car crash here? <laughs> if you could take it off, then you wouldn't be wearing it right now, right? Oh no. Okay, good for you. Get emancipated. Get your freedom. Uh. Hope you can take it off to sleep, otherwise, yikes. No? Ever? In your whole life thus far? Are you serious? We're not gonna agree with Yancey, are we stupid? Yeah, it's pretty extreme. Isn't your mom worried about- no. Where do you live anyway? Where am I taking you? It's gonna be a huge ass mansion, obviously. No? It's still in the downtown core. Ah, penthouse, right. Unless your family owns the whole ass building. They probably do, don't they? Yeah, alright. What's with the lions? You just ignore me? Okay. Since the mom is recording all this, should we have been less pro Gideon and more pro Yancey in case we meet Yancey in the future? Yes, stay angry Gideon. Yes, right on, give me five stars please. Good for you. Maybe we can. This one I can understand sliding out. Maybe she has like propellers on her mech that allow her to like let blow air to just let her slide out but the other people who slide out so smoothly doesn't make sense still can't wrap my head around it yay good we're positive we're feeling good like we should and now we're in the prime area give me five stars let's go Gideon yes Yes! 
We're up. We're almost back to five. Should we tank it now by picking up Charlie? <laughs> Good thing we refueled at the cheapest place, huh? Ah, okay. Ride quota. We're done for the day. See, I don't see what the drawback is to calling it a, or to pushing on. Because last time we did it and nothing bad really happened, right? We still have the electricity for it. Why not? Let's do it. As you say, every PAX is an opportunity. And we're yellow, so this is good. Okay, so we, let's see, we have, we're in a good mood. And we're near Charlie. This might be the best opportunity we ever get to soothing Charlie, won't it? And oh, Agonon's available. Look, I, should we try this again? It's taken two five stars and a four star to get back to 4.6. So we can safely assume that it'll take three five star ratings to go back to five after Charlie tanks us again. I think we might have the time to do it. Not today, but possibly tomorrow before Sophie's Law kicks in. So unless there's anyone else who's interesting, let's try it. What the hell? Why not? Sure. Hey, what's up? I don't know. What's the least snarky option? Oh no, Lena, why do you say this stuff? Come on. No, shut up, Lena. Okay, you're still smiling, so I think that's good. Yes, let's go! I accept your apology. Good. Lena, stop being snarky. Be, be amiable, come on. Exactly. This is what I said last episode. The four star rating we got from the Quantum Witch. Fair, but also in terms of the industry, terrible. Yes, I would too. Thank you. I agree with you. Why, why do we have to be snarky? Can't we just be nice? Because the first one feels... Yeah, the first one's definitely a bad choice. It's so sarcastic. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let's crash our car. Let's kidnap you since we have the five stars in the bag. Yeah, that was actually a halfway decent apology. Good thing we're not in the red, otherwise we would have been locked out of that choice. I can see it now. Okay, let's try to befriend this guy. Let's just say you know she's a double agent, right? So I shouldn't feel bad about spilling the beans and saying she hates Capra. <laughs> I thought you had signed NDAs and you're, I'm sure there are bugs in your, look at what you're wearing, Christ, there must be, like HQ is probably watching the live stream right now. Yeah, no. Capra's too big of an organization. They can easily sweep anything they do to her under the rug, so I don't believe you. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay. Yes, Lena, yes, you're choosing the right thing autonomously, finally. Why are you in a bad mood? No! Yes, get on with it. Okay, I don't know. Like... Yikes. At least we're not red, and at least we're not on the extreme left. <laughs> Speaking like trash on the curb. Okay, you promised the five stars. Why are we looking this way? What's happening? Did they code it so that we wouldn't have to see him sliding out? Did they realize partway through that, hey, these people are sliding out so unnaturally? Okay, thanks for the comment. And we're up to four. That was a good good decision. And he tipped too, holy crap. Like, five stars would have been more than enough. Like, you t left a pretty good tip as well. Thank you. We still have enough. Oh, this is the end of the day, right? So, should we stay in the pod again? I think we should. Because we got a, you know, a good night's rest in the pod. And that's not something we got at the motel. And this... 35 is a bit steep, isn't it? I don't know if... Is there some story related to this? Do we meet someone? Do we meet Luisa? By any chance? Should we stay at a capsule? I don't know when the LOPD is ever gonna decide they want another donation from me. Let's go here. Look, this one's cheaper, but it does take a bit of... electricity. So let's stay in this Capra capsule. Yep, we're sleeping in a beehive. Hey, there we go. Being haunted by my conscience was better than those Azteca dreams. That's true, we tried the traditional motel, it didn't work out. Good evening, Athena. Oh, oh no, that's not good. I would have thought we would have reset to neutral, but okay. And is it just perpetually night in this town? Because like, I get the whole Neo thing, but I feel like there should be some sunlight at some stage, don't you? Ugh, never noticed that. Why is this place named the Steve? What kind of neighborhood is named the Steve? Ah, the photographer will take us to that cluster. So I think that's a safe bet. Liam, what's up? Let's drive you over to the Outer Lands on night four. And I'm excited to see a passenger who gave me five stars. Yo, Liam, what's up? Pretty high, considering you've been requesting a neocab every night for the past two nights. So, it's about time. Of all the- are there many neocabs? He gets into mine. Let's smile. What? <laughs> okay. Interesting mood. Interesting- I was gonna say interesting move, but I said mood. Interesting mood move. Mood move. We don't want to vent. Eh, yeah, just okay. But thank you for remembering about my friend. I know, I've sold out. I've sold out to the corporate technological masters. What am I? What? 
that took so long to pop up. It's kind of weird. I'd rather not know what mood I'm in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, and it's not like it's stuck to my arm forever. I can take it off very easily, but I'm choosing not to. I'm actively choosing to leave it on. It does make me uncomfortable for sure, but it makes me more vulnerable. There's something about it which I don't know. Please enlighten me. <laughs> you and me both. It's impossible. Look where you are. Sophie's Law? Yep, I've heard about it. Like a lot, I don't know. It sounds beautiful, but I don't I don't know if that's the appropriate response. Let's try it. Nope. It's locked out anyway. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Look at my wrist. I haven't seen too many well, I don't get to look at people's wrists, to be fair. Savvy's got one. That's true. Photography is the art of translating the world into a still image, a still capture, a still time capsule, really. I don't, it's not nice to be able to see it. I don't think I like it. But it's not that simple. I don't know. It feels pretty straightforward to me. Yeah, like, it, I guess it's true. It's, I guess it's not that straightforward, fair enough, because you can be happy or in a positive mood in a sad situation without it reflecting, yeah, without it reflecting how you truly feel, because you can certainly be sad about something, but be positive about the experience going on around you. I'm trying to, I'm running loops around myself here, but I think, you know, is my message coming across? You know, like trying to find the silver lining, I guess. <laughs> Maybe you're the murderer. <laughs> yes, okay. How'd you get a free one? Ah, erratic swarm by any chance? All right, it's all coming together. Lena said maybe I can get good intel if I play this right. What is the right option? Feign ignorance or be honest? Be honest. This guy is a good guy, I feel like. Clever. the photo op there we go hold on is that really true for people like you to photograph and share with the world
Hey, there we go. We're on the same wavelength here. I can feel how you're... You feel uh, conflicted about this. Duped, maybe? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh. Okay, let's stop talking about Capra real quick. I need to talk about something good, please. <laughs> when you got weird, I feel I got weird. We were both weird. Yes, it was on me. This is another thing, like, there has to be some... All corporations... Hmm, that's an overstatement. Many corporations are evil. If that's too broad of a label to put on them, that's for someone else to d debate. But the thing is, can, can you put everyone who works at a company at fault for earning a living when the opportunity is great for them personally and they're not, you know, the face of the company or directly involved in or at least visibly involved in ruining people's lives. So this is a conundrum too. I feel that, I guess. There we go. Yep, corporate ethics. <laughs> and it's not just neocab time. What year is this taking place in? It's like, but anyway, this is a conundrum that's been going on forever really you just have to reshape the institutions think of the old frontier even just because i've been playing red dead redemption recently think of that right associating yourself with a law that isn't just but trying to find your own justice when it comes into conflict with the system or with the interests of those who are more powerful than you that's tough Okay, again, I appreciate you sharing this with me, Liam, but I am feeling red right now. You're gonna make me angrier, so like... So, so you left the job? Ah, right, you told me you're on a sabbatical for one year, right? Also, by the way, I didn't notice it last time. You have really cool glasses. Wow. It would be cool if we had the option to dress Lena up, because I would definitely get Lena those glasses. Where do you feel you're at? Because clearly you're, you're not there yet, right? I'm liking this conversation. <laughs> I I don't know why the of course it's real is red, but yeah, even if it is propaganda, it is also dis you're letting people interpret the photo how they wish. They are probably going to interpret it as wow, Capra allows us to see that people are sad, and this is a good technology, but. Real people, real moment. There it is. You're welcome. Yeah, send me the photo. I'll add it to my journal, please. Yes. All right, let's go. You're not a downer. Yeah. You're welcome. Yes. We're in a fairly good mood. This is good.
You're welcome. And I'm in a good mood after it, despite worrying that I would be in the red, so thank you. Yes, let's text someone. Oh, I feel like... I don't know if I'm imagining things, I wasn't paying attention before, but Liam just slid out of the car very normally. Because you could see that he was sort of tilted. Maybe put his hand on the door and then pushed his body out. That felt natural. The previous ones, some of them were just really like sidewalk, sideways moonwalks or like, you know, sliding in like butter, you know? <laughs> ah, that's true. That's, I have to think about myself too and Sophie's Law. Because that photo is published, Capra is going to use it for sure to show off their, their work. What a conundrum. That entire conversation was one big thought exercise, I guess. And I am extremely grateful for it. Thank you. Two for two. Same. And it's perfect. Andy left me a good tip. And we're in the Yadderlands with a gas, with a recharge station nearby. So I'm guessing we can see the photo. How about this for a cliffhanger? I'm going to assume the photo's in the journal, so I'm going to promise you that we can look at the journal and see the photo next episode. And if it's not there, <laughs> then don't worry, because it's still a cliffhanger. Is it there or isn't it there, right? <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Uh, this was Neocab, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Drive safe, or get into safe cabs, I guess. How's that for a for a closing to a video, huh?